Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Google Analytics into your Bubble app. It's actually pretty straightforward. So first thing you want to do is go to analytics.google.com um, and create a Google Analytics account. If you don't already have one, uh, it's free, you don't have to pay for this. And you can create an account with any existing Google account that you might already have. Once you're at the dashboard, go to the admin panel here on the lower left here, I've got it collapsed, but if you go to the admin section down there, you'll be able to create an account. So you can have multiple accounts under your analytics dashboard, and then within each account, you can have multiple properties. So you see here, I have a coaching bubble account uh, where I can manage more high level settings like accounts, any users that I wanna be able to access this data, um, and then within the account, you can have properties, which I have split up by my website and then also the YouTube channel for Coaching Bubble. So I wanna keep those properties separate. So I have two separate entities for those things with their own tracking number, um, just so that I can keep those stats kind of on their own. Uh, and then within each property, you can have multiple views. So you can create preset filters, um, and goals and anything that you want to measure for your site. Uh, you can have multiple views there so you can very quickly switch between different views to see the data that you want. Um, so again, the very first thing you wanna do is go ahead and create an account. This will be the parent of any property that you wanna set up. It's fine if you just have one property under an account, that could be your main website and that's it. So once you create an account, you'll have the option to create a new property and I'm gonna do this here just to show you how this will go, create a new uh, property. This is going to be a website and you want to give it a name. I'm going to say sample site and make sure you enter in the address. I'm going to do coaching sandbox.bubbleapps.io and you can fill out a category. I'll just choose other there and time zone and then you want to click get tracking ID. This ID is what you'll need to enter into Bubble. Um, and actually, so uh, Google Analytics gives you different types of code and stuff so that you can um, insert this ID into your application uh, a number of different ways. It just depends on how you've decided to build your site. And Bubble makes it super easy for us because there's actually a plugin and all you need for the plugin is this ID right here. So I'm gonna copy this tracking ID. I don't need to worry about any of this other stuff and go over to my app and I'm gonna install the Google Analytics plugin. Oh, let's see, I'm gonna install the bubble published one. All right, click done there. And then you can see for the settings for the plugin, all I need to paste into here is that ID that I copied. Now notice that you do have um, two different fields for your live version and your development version. This would be a case where uh, if you wanted to create two separate properties for your live and your development so that you're not mixing development um, usage with your live statistics, it might be a better idea to have this tracking ID be separate. Um, or maybe, you know, just don't worry about uh, the development site and just keep that blank so that only the live site is being tracked and you're not getting all of your version test pages um, mixed up in here and skewing your data a little bit if you're uh, truly only interested in your live data. Uh, but if you do want to track live and development, I would suggest creating a separate property um, here uh, for your development version of your site. Okay, and that way you can have two separate tracking ID codes. And that's it. So give this a little bit of time um, to uh, for for Google to pick up your site. Um, it shouldn't take too long. And uh, that, that's all you need to do. It's just going to kind of happen automatically for you. You can go into your dashboard and you can see all your stats um, as users visit your site. That's it. I hope this was helpful. If you uh, want to see more videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel. Comment below. Let me know if there's anything that you're interested in learning. Thanks so much for watching.